Have you ever wondered what a cybersecurity engineer does? What? Do you know what they do within an organization and how they help to protect that organization from the bad guys? No. Do you know what some of those salaries are for organizations? But And if you have all of these questions, I want you to stay to the end of the video. Okay. Where I have so many resources and things to give to you about what a cybersecurity engineer is and if you might want to do this particular career role within your career progression. Come along, come along as we normalize struggling in cybersecurity together. Hello, and welcome back to another Struggle Security YouTube video. We are normalizing struggling in cybersecurity. My name is Gabriel Agbarucci, and if it's your first time here, I want you to hit the subscription button, hit the notification bell so you can get more and more of this type of content. In today's subject, we're jumping into a role breakdown. We're talking about what is a cybersecurity engineer. Cybersecurity engineer is a very common title within the field, and I want to kind of do a breakdown for people who are newer in the industry or people who have already been here who might want a breakdown and more information about what cybersecurity engineers do and what that looks like as it concerns a career trajectory. So we're going to just jump right into it. And a cybersecurity engineer can be found across so many different industries and so many different organizations. I mean, you name it, you almost might see a cybersecurity engineer in almost every single company. I mean, the companies might range from that of Twitter, Facebook, Netflix, Delta Airlines, Apple, the United States government, Ford Motor Company, Home Depot, and even McDonald's. And you know, it's so common to see these individuals in so many different organizations to the point where even within my career, I used to be a cybersecurity engineer. Specifically, I worked for a nuclear plant and I'm gonna show a picture coming up here. So I used to be a cybersecurity engineer at a nuclear plant and you can find cybersecurity engineers all across utility organizations as well. Some of the synonymous titles for cybersecurity engineers, so you might be able to discover them within job titles or job postings, is that of course, cybersecurity engineer. You also might see it as an infosec or information security engineer, security engineer taken off the cyber completely, or you can get into specific specialties within cybersecurity where you can look at a digital forensics engineers, security operation center engineer, network security engineer, cloud security engineer, blockchain engineer, <laughs> machine learning security engineer is so many different titles that align or are synonymous with cybersecurity engineers. So let's get into what they actually do or what they're responsible for. So many times these individuals are responsible for identifying threats and vulnerabilities in systems and software using a wide range of security tools. They also apply their skills in developing and implementing solutions to defend against things like commodity malware, like different types of malware or adware for organizations, maybe even ransomware, right? That's a very common type of malware that's deployed into systems and encrypts things and says you need to pay something in order to get things back. Cybersecurity engineers have to defend against those. Insider threats, right? Individuals might work for organizations and might work for malicious organizations at the same time. So to get into organizations and try to exploit all the vulnerabilities within them and cybersecurity engineers help to protect against those. Also more targeted and skilled attackers, those of APTs or different types of malicious actors or advanced persistent threats, and all types of other cyber crime. Cybersecurity engineers help organizations to protect themselves against those categories of malware and threat actors. If you're a cybersecurity engineer, you'll be working in the team capacity where you're developing policies, standards, procedures that define how an organization will handle and respond to cybersecurity for that organization. So those are more high level responsibilities, but some of the day-to-day -day tasks might look like this. You might be responsible for configuring company firewalls and setting new rules within the firewall set. You might be responsible for updating the security incident and event management system with new IOCs or indicators of compromise. You might need to update those type of tools. Utilizing special tools to do patching for Windows and Linux machines. You might even be responsible for deploying a new intrusion detection system and test its functionality. You know, one very common and very popular intrusion detection system is that of Splunk. Right. So that's a very common tool that a lot of organizations deploy in order to try to sense or find the bad within their company networks, assets and hosts. You might even be responsible for monitoring different security related tickets or ticketing systems. And you might be responsible for doing further investigation. You might even do security program assessments or security assessments against potentially vulnerable networks and systems. And also that of soft skills. Soft skills are so important in this because as a cybersecurity engineer, many times you are in a technical capacity, but you need to be able to translate a lot of that technical knowledge into reports or be able to report out and present the information that you might find from your assessments, from the different incidents you might have seen, or just overall ideas, technical ideas, translating it to different audiences and internal stakeholders. You might need to do some type of updating to the annual security training 
for the organization, right? But if you're training HR people or finance people within companies, you need to be able to translate that into layman's terms. So soft skills are so important. And really at a high level, cybersecurity engineers are responsible for implementing, hardening and um, updating the defense in depth strategy for the organization. It's common that cybersecurity engineers defend organization systems and assets from the bad guys. And when I'm saying the bad guys, when they're defending from the bad guys, that's typically seen in the blue teaming, right? The blue team sections of the organization. So the blue team typically is responsible for that layering and fortifying security defenses against attacks. So here we're looking at the diagram and it's the defense in depth layers. Starting from the left, you're looking at policies, procedures, and awareness, right? You're looking at physical, you're going up, looking at your perimeter, looking at your firewalls and your VPNs, your internal network. That's again, internal firewalls, or like I mentioned before, intrusion de detection systems, host, right? Those are your windows, laptops, and your mobile phones and your servers. Um, your apps, your applications within the organization, looking at multi-factor authentication, making sure they're up to date from a patching standard. Um, and then you're also looking at your data. Where is your data and is your data protected from bad guys, right? So that's all very much so a part of a defense in depth strategy where you're doing a layering of security measures or a layering of security defenses in order to make sure that your organization is defended from today's bad guys. And this many times is what a cybersecurity engineer is responsible for doing. You might not cover every single thing within this defense in depth layering system, but you might be responsible for one or multiple things within this diagram. So just wanted to show you a little bit of that. So now we're going to look at what is the demand for cybersecurity engineers within the field? So I searched last week and this is the result. I searched last week on LinkedIn and after putting in cybersecurity engineer into the LinkedIn search field, I found over 30,000 or 30K job postings in the US. So then I'm like, okay, let's look at this. Let's expand this a little bit more. I opened it up to worldwide and I got almost 50K, right? 50,000 job postings that identify that of a title of a cybersecurity engineer. Wow, right? So when we we're talking about the level of demand, we know that cybersecurity engineers are in high demand within the cybersecurity field. We can easily conclude that this is a high demand role. And this is something that you might want to get into, right? A high demand role across the entire world. Oh my God. Wow. And I want to go over like a little salaries trick with you or something that I do regularly in order to try to understand what are the salaries for particular roles. So for cybersecurity, we're going to do this. So let me give you a little bit of a backdrop of the story, right? So in January of 2021, Colorado, the state of Colorado enacted a law requiring employers to disclose salaries in job listings. And it was a move to help ensure equal pay for equal work. Many job posting websites like LinkedIn and Indeed, they post Colorado job postings with salaries and benefits included. Hmm, very interesting information, right? So we can take advantage of this within our job searching um, journey. All right, so this is what I wanna do with you here. Let me go ahead and switch my screen. One thing that I wanna do is go through a step-by-step -step process with you on how to find some of these job postings by utilizing what Colorado imp implemented for job postings with salaries and benefits. So the first thing that we're gonna do is that we're gonna type in here, cybersecurity, we're gonna do it one word, engineer. And then we're gonna identify here, not within the location section, but we're gonna put it right in the job field. And I think that that helps our search out a lot because it searched through the text of the job fields, not necessarily just where they the jobs are located. So we're gonna put Colorado right there, and then this is gonna give us some different results that we'll be able to use in order to really find what the different jobs are for cybersecurity engineers in the US. So I just wanna start off with the first one. And many times, um, LinkedIn is, is tailored to you and your job. So let's go ahead and jump into this one, right? We see with Booz Allen Hamilton, the first contracting organization in many cases, and they have a job posting for a cybersecurity en engineer. We're gonna just scroll down, scroll, 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 and look for some information about salaries. And look, look here, what does this say? I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. It says the proposed salary range for this position in Colorado is $110,000 to $120,000. Final salary will be determined based on various factors. Now, if you think this is a fluke, I'll go to a different job, job posting. Let's look at Visa. Visa for a senior cybersecurity engineer. Let's scroll down a little bit here. Um, and we are looking for, oh, there it is. Colorado, Colorado applicants only. Zoom in a little bit more for you. The estimated salary range for the new hire into this position is 117,700 to 153,000 USD. Okay, let's go to Home Depot. This one is for a distinguished cybersecurity engineer role and it is remote and let's go ahead and scroll a little bit 
on this row and see if we can find what the job salary is here. Given a lot of background, 15% people, oh, and boom. For Colorado, Connecticut, and New York residents, the pay range for this position is between 110 and $300,000. It's a very wide range, but that's something that I want you all to employ. The second thing I wanna show you here is that say, for instance, we we don't live in Colorado, but one thing that you can do is that you can take what this, this starting salary, let's just look at this 110 starting salary for this particular role. And then what I want you to do is that go into this website and I'll provide that in the description section or the comment section. And I want you to put here, um, say for instance, you're moving from, let's just say Denver, Colorado, and I'm in the state of um, Michigan. And then you'll put the annual salary, which is that 110. So for cybersecurity engineering role with 110K salary in Colorado, that looks like 99,921 as it concerns a salary for the state of Michigan. And I think you can do this for any one of your states, anywhere in the US or anywhere in the world. Utilize this cost of living calculator to be able to now have your base salary or the salary that you might be able to command for the place in the world that you are living. So I just want to kind of give you that little bit of a trick and show you one more thing about salaries and just the overall role. And this is another website. I mentioned this earlier in another video, but um, I'm gonna have this again in the comment section or the description section, this website called CyberSeek. And it shows different career paths. Specifically, we're gonna zoom into the cybersecurity engineer. And again, speaking about salaries, one thing that is typically the average salary across the board is a, a, around $117,510 for a lot of these cybersecurity engineer roles. And it kind of gives you some common job titles, right? These are the ones that were synonymous that we were talking about before. It talks about some other skills that are important here. It's container security or cloud security, privilege account security, um, security as a, or software as a service application security. So some other things that are interesting. Another thing that we see are top certifications, right? We see that the CISSP is a really good certification for cybersecurity engineers that are aligned with some of those job postings. The CISM or various GAC or SAN certifications and CompTIA Security Plus. And just like I mentioned before, I found that there were about 50,000 worldwide. This is even seeing even a wider range of job openings for cybersecurity engineers. I wanna leave you with one more resource and it's actually right here on YouTube. It's a gentleman, he has a channel, it's called Sec Engineer, and he goes over his own path or what it looks like for him to become a cybersecurity engineer. And he goes over some of his roles and responsibilities. He even has a video called A Day in the Life of a Cybersecurity Engineer. So if you wanna know more information about that, I'll hit it in the description section. Thank you for coming and thank you for watching Struggle Security, where we are normalizing struggling in cybersecurity. Hopefully this has dispelled one of your struggles and hopefully now you know more about what a cybersecurity engineer does. And if you're interested in it, hey, hit the comment section and I'll give you more information if you have additional questions about what a cybersecurity engineer does within organizations. Come back, hit the subscription button and the notification bell. Come back for more and more of this type of content. Thank you.